welcome back to my channel i hope every one of you is doing really well so today is going to be a makeup and hair tutorial on this whole look that i have going on right now it's very very hot summer is finally here i was actually sweating my ass off when i was recording this video i also decided to you know show you guys my base routine for the summer my skin has been quite dry lately but normally it's oily so i decided to show you guys my oily base routine for the summer as you can see i kept the eyes very very simple i just focused on the skin and also the hair how good does my hair look guys i am literally obsessed wearing my hair like this I decided to do a voiceover just because when I record myself like talking through I find that I make the videos very very long and I'm including a hair tutorial as well so the best thing for me to do was just to do a voiceover so I can make the video as short as possible i hope you guys do enjoy this makeup and hair tutorial if you guys want me to do more videos like this like including hairstyles let me know because this is actually my first time doing like a hair styling video i'm not the best at doing hair but i gave it a go and it actually came out really really good i am obsessed with the hair this is how i'm going to be wearing my hair the whole summer So this is my freshly washed hair, I washed it the night before so this is how it is naturally which is not nice but I'm going to start off by using the Moroccan oil heat protecting spray because you want to protect your hair from the heat, you want to keep it nice and healthy so this is very very necessary for me, I always have to do it. Before I do the beachy waves, I always have to straighten my hair before to avoid my hair going very frizzy. But if you do have naturally straight hair, you don't have to straighten your hair. The straighteners that I'm using today is from the brand T3 Micro and it's the single pass X straightener. So the flat iron is wide, which is perfect for me because I do have long hair as you can see so i want something that is going to make this whole process faster i highly recommend these straighteners they are one of the best ones i've used this process takes me about less than 20 minutes which is amazing and as you can see it just leaves my hair super straight before adding any more heat to my hair and do the beachy waves, I like to let my hair cool down for about an hour and then I'll come back and start doing the beachy waves. So the curling wand that I'm using is actually from Amazon and it was only £22 I think. And it's basically three barrels in one as you can see and I'm not going to lie to you guys but this process takes so long. You have to do it in small sections if you want to get the best results. This is the best routine that I find. The beachy wave lasts all day. If I do it differently, it just doesn't last. So I don't know why, but I have to follow this exact routine for the beachy waves to last. And as you can see, I am adding hair clip extensions and I only add four. And I like to keep it on the lower section of my head. You guys can add more hair clips extensions but I find that four is enough for me. So now I am adding mousse to keep those curls in place. And I like to add the mousse every single time that I do one section. If I add the mousse at the end, it just doesn't last. I have to do it straight after each section. After adding the mousse, I like to clip back that section because if I don't do this, it just gets messy. So now I'm going to repeat the exact same steps. I'm curling my hair, then I'm going to add the clip hair extensions and then the mousse and then clip it back again. Guys, this hairstyle is so long to do. I like to take a good two hours doing it properly because if I don't do it properly it just won't last so I filmed this video on Thursday morning now that I'm editing this video is Saturday and my hair is still curly so 
you just have to do it properly for it to last but if you don't really want it to last then you can just do it however you like I have a weird hair like curls don't last on me that long but this is the best routine that I've done so far where I find that my hair lasts a long time so the top part is where I like to take a bit more time to do it properly because I don't like that little wave to you know stick out because it just makes my head shape look even rounder and weird so I like to curl it as normal I like to add mousse as much as I can so it will last all day now I'm gonna go and take my hair straighteners and basically straighten it those little hairs as you can see so those waves don't stick out if that makes any sense now we're going to spray our hair and I'm using the got to be hairspray this is the best hairspray ever like it just makes my hair last all day now I'm sticking the front pieces at the back of my ears this is the way that I like to wear this hairstyle you guys can just wear it however you like now I'm taking these hair clips from Amazon as well I like to clip the front pieces down because I'm going to do my makeup but also I find when I do this the front pieces just stays in place all day but yeah guys this is basically the hair done as you can see it looks so so cute but now we're going to move on to the makeup so as you can see my face is breaking out so i'm sorry for those spots i'm going to start off by using this makeup revolution spf 30 moisturizer and this one is for oily skin which is so so nice I recently bought it and I actually really really like it now we're gonna move on to the brows but what I like to do with my brows first is I like to take a brow gel and I like to brush my hairs all the way up I like the brow gel to dry for a bit so I'm going to prime my face first before filling in my brows and I am using the Revlon Rose Gold Hydrating Primer which is so nice as well since this makeup is going to be very very matte you want to make sure your face is very hydrated before because you don't want your makeup to cake up since the foundation that I'm going to be using is very very matte basically you want your skin to be well hydrated and prime before applying any foundation now i'm going to fill in my brows with this elf cosmetics brow pencil which is so so nice i run out of my brow pencil which is from makeup revolution so i started using this one from elf cosmetics and i actually very very like it i don't do much to my brows i just like to fill in the sparse area since I do have my brows microbladed so all the products that I'm going to be using today will be listed in the description box below so make sure you check that out if you want to know exact shades and names I don't know if you guys remember that video that I did of powder before foundation I am basically going to be using that technique but I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty powder to basically put powder where I normally get oily you want to make sure you use a thin powder when doing this technique so you avoid any cakiness and I find that the Huda Beauty is perfect for that but yeah just slightly put powder where you normally get oily then you're going to be applying foundation so this is the foundation that I have found and I love so much it's, it's the infallible 24 hour matte edition foundation and you guys are going to see how matte and full coverage this foundation is you know 
the foundation is so matte when you can actually see my spots because the foundation has actually sunk into my skin which is a good thing if you have oily skin because this is going to last all day i always mention in my videos that i never ever touch up my makeup so if i recommend you guys something it's because it truly truly lasts on my skin i always always like a matte finish this foundation is the mattest foundation i've ever used in my life i highly highly recommend this foundation it's honestly so so good i am going to be adding a little bit more foundation because i am extra as always i didn't really have to like add more because this foundation is full coverage but yeah this foundation is so matte as you can see it's actually one of my favorites and i am glad that i found a new foundation now i'm going to move on to concealer and as always i'm going to be using the elf cosmetics hydrating camo concealer this is literally my favorite concealer ever it's honestly so good and i am using the hydrating one just because if i use the matte one it's just going to be too matte for my face so you want something hydrating for your under eyes so it doesn't cake up and go dry but as always i like to use two shades one that is yellowy and another one which is more of a white one just to highlight the under eyes just because i like that look but again you don't have to apply as much concealer as i did i just like a full coverage concealer so this might be a lot of makeup for you guys but it's actually not for me now i'm going to cream contour my face because that's what i like to do and i'm going to be using the nude stick cream contour stick which is actually new for me i recently discovered this product which is really really good because it's not really pigmented it's actually very very natural on your skin it actually doesn't feel like you're wearing any cream contour which is good because for someone like you don't want to wear as much makeup and if you guys look how easily it is blending and it blends very very seamless and very natural which is what i really like about this and also this brush from fenty beauty is so so good it just makes the cream contour process even easier and faster but yeah now i'm going to be setting my whole face in place and i'm going to be using the born this way setting powder from too faced and i am actually going to be setting the under eyes with my sponge i always do this technique because it just proper sets my my makeup into place i like to set my face with the sponge where i get oily so that would be basically the center of my face and with a big brush i like to set the rest of my face but i don't like to use as much powder just because you know everything is so matte so i just don't want this makeup to be so caked up i just want it to look super matte but flawless if that makes any sense i'm going to use my charlie tilbury film star bronzer kit and i like to use both of those shades because i don't know it just gives me the perfect bronzy color and what i like about this product is that it just gives me like a really really nice glow it has a little bit of shimmer but not too much like it just makes me glow if that makes sense you know what i'm talking about when i say like the charlie tilbury glow like it just looks so nice and glowy if that makes sense and i like to use that to contour my nose as well now i'm going to add some blush you guys already know that i love peachy blushes so i'm going to be using this one from makeup revolution that i recently got and i absolutely love it is so peachy so nice so for my eyes i like to keep it simple i hardly ever wear shadows in summer so i'm going to be mixing the bronzer and the blush and blending that on my crease just to give me like a really nice shade and just to make the whole look put together like 
using the same bronzer it just makes it look so 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 nice so yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm removing my powder that i did i actually didn't include that bit but i did bake a little bit now i'm going to basically shower in setting spray because i was looking a bit too matte i feel like the secret is basically to just put a lot of face spray and i don't like to use a setting spray i like to use like a mist and the mario badescu one is a really nice one because it actually sets my makeup into place and also gives me a really nice hydration if that makes sense now i'm going to move on to my lashes but first i like to apply liquid liner i just do like a thin line on my lash line and then i'm going to apply mascara and guys i have a little surprise for you guys i don't know if i told you but i am coming up with my own lash brand and i'm going to show you one of the styles which is my favorite lashes ever these are my babies and these are basically the most dramatic lashes ever but you guys already know that i am a dramatic lash girl don't worry i am coming out with more natural lashes this is what i can show you for now guys it's coming out very soon hopefully by summer or just after summer but look how beautiful these lashes are i am actually so excited to be coming out with my own lash brand it has been my dream for years and i am finally working on it i actually didn't apply the left lashes properly as you can see the inner corners but I did fix it at the end of the video, actually after the video. Now I'm going to be applying highlighter and I'm using this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just basically applying highlighter, just a little bit, not too much. Then I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty, I can't remember the name, but I just added that on top of my bronzer, which is very, very nice. It just gives me like a really nice glowy look, a bit of shimmer. I think I did add a little bit more of blush. Now I'm going to move on to my lips and I am using a Revlon lip liner. I can't remember the name. And then I'm going to apply the Barry M um, lip gloss. And this one is the one that makes your lips big and juicy. It just gives you like a nice tingle and makes them very, very plump. But yeah, guys, that is basically the finish completed this is my makeup for summer sweat proof it's gonna keep you very very matte for those people that have oily skin and like to cake up the face like me i like a full coverage makeup even on summer and i hope you guys did enjoy the makeup and also the hair tutorial that i did That is the makeup look completed. I hope you guys did like it. I hope you guys learned some new techniques. And yeah, this is my summer full coverage matte long lasting makeup. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos that I upload. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.